What's up, Rob here, back with another video, uh, another e-bike. Well, it's not necessarily an e-bike video, but it deals with e-bikes, it works with e-bikes, it's an e-bike accessory. What is it? It's a hauler. You got a couple of big, heavy e-bikes, they don't work on a normal bike rack. Nope. They will crush it. <laughs> normal bike weighs 15, 20 pounds, you know, e-bikes 65, 75 and up. Uh, so you need a sturdy rack to haul the e-bikes around. I uh, haven't had one until now, uh, recently, you know, I've been riding the bikes on trails and stuff around here. I'll throw one in the van, can't fit any more than one in there. So needed a sturdy e-bike rack, hauler, whatever you want to call it. So I'm looking around the internet. I come across uh, several that are very expensive. <laughs> And uh, I just don't have, you know, a thousand, two thousand dollars to buy a, you know, fancy e-bike collar. So I come across Rambo e-bikes. I'm looking on their site, looking at their bikes. They build these big burly bikes for hunters and going off, you know, fishing out in the woods and trails and whatnot. Uh, I don't have a Rambo bike yet, but hey, if you guys got one you want to review on, hit me up. Um, anyways. They build some big burly bikes and this rack carries their big burly bikes so i figured that rack should carry my big burly bikes as well even though my bikes aren't rambo bikes yet and uh so i got it i looked all over found this one got it it's well built it's sturdy um i've been hauling the bikes around for a few days very easy to put together which i'll show you here in just a moment uh it's a very sped up process they got a great uh video on their website how to put it together if you get hung up but it's pretty straightforward anybody with any mechanical skills at all can whiz right through it even my fat butt figured it out and got down and hooked it up boom boom z z z done there you go so let's uh take a look at putting it together and uh, a couple pictures of it and i'll show you how it works and all that mm. all right kind of jammed up under the front porch today because it's rainy but we have the Rambo R184 bike hauler. We're going to throw it together, put it on the car, try it. All right, here's a little, a few pictures of uh, the box that I got the Rambo 18, R184 bike hauler in. Uh, FedEx decided to have a little football game of the box, of, as usual, you know, and tore it up. But uh, luckily, Rambo packed it very well and everything was there and uh, it wasn't torn up on the inside just the box so here i am unboxing it what's left of the box kind of fell open but uh, <laughs> uh just making sure everything's there taking out all the parts and pieces there's the actual rail that fits in the receiver of your trailer hitch and uh, these are the rails that hold the bike and basically just pulling the plastic and protecting packing off of those and uh, opening up all the other parts putting them putting it together is pretty straightforward you want to put the back wheel chocks in place there's a little set screw that goes on to keep them from coming off the end they are adjustable and slide back and forth depending on the wheelbase of what bike you're putting it on there that's what's cool with this uh, hauler is it fits a multitude of different bikes big and small and different tire sizes as well so I'm putting the front wheel chalk on. They're pretty straightforward. Two bolts that hold, or two screws that hold that in. Uh, so you can go ahead and tighten those up because they don't move, they don't adjust. They're, they're where they're at and that's it. So here it is uh, going in the receiver on the trailer hitch. Pretty straightforward, big bolt that's threaded that goes through that with a lock nut and washer, or not a lock nut, but a lock washer and uh, retaining clip on the other side. Make sure and put that in. And uh, pretty straightforward again. Then you take the rails and you're going to put the rails on top of this bar. And there's little brackets that uh, hold that on with four Allen bolts a piece. And they go into welded nuts on the bottom of those little brackets. And you want to basically put them on, measure it, make sure you got them on centered. Basically want two feet on each end roughly and then you got to measure them apart a distance from each other so it doesn't interfere when the trail when the hauler is in the vertical position when there's no bikes on there you can vertical it up 
And uh, then you also want to make sure there's the proper amount of space in between each rail. So uh, your bikes don't interfere with each other when, you know, if you're carrying around two bikes. So other than that, it's pretty simple. Now I'm putting this hauler together and my tailgates up. Could that be a problem? Uh, I don't know. Let's wait and find out. <laughs> I'm going to uh, put a bike on here momentarily. Here we go with the bike. And um, unfortunately, it's not a Rambo bike. Hopefully, I'll have one of those to try out maybe sooner or later. I don't know. They look really cool. But uh, now the tailgate's up. So, you know, what are we going to do? I'm, I'm going to have to take I'm strapping the bike down now. And um, it comes now with with some extra straps, like uh, cinch straps that you can tighten the front and the back of the bike down. It also comes with little extra wheel straps to put on the front and the back wheel, just for double added security. Get the bike, you know, in the hauler. The front wheel holder holds the bike really well, and then you, you the the back wheel chalk has a strap built into it and then you throw a, f a few more on there just for you know that added comfort so now what do we do can't oh look it tilts down and the tailgate goes down boom bada bing so bada bum yeah, uh, installed on the back of the minivan Sturdy on there. The trailer has a little bit of wobble, but not much. It's pretty sturdy. Been hauling the bike around for a couple of days now, on and off. hardest part is uh, lifting the bike up, getting the 73 pounds. So other than that, uh, it seems pretty sturdy, seems very well built, and uh, pretty good price on it. Um, I shopped around quite a bit and uh, found this one. And hopefully, like I said uh, earlier, I'll get a uh, Rambo bike sooner or later to test one of those out and uh, ride it around. There you go, there you have it. Hit the like, the subscribe button. Uh, I'll help you out. And uh, have a good one.